All right, friends of all ages, come and gather round for learning together time. I have a couple of announcements before we get into it. Now, I don't think you can see these announcements, no. So many technical problems this morning, but that's okay. I'm going to do great expressive things to get you as excited as I feel about these infographics that you're not seeing. Okay, so first of all, camp spirit is coming. Summer camp is on its way. We're hiring staff. It's so great. Um, so our week, August 16th to the 20th, right here, maybe inside, probably mostly outside like it was last year. So excited. And we will have some returning staff. Jenna, of course, is with us again this summer. Kumi is with us. And you may remember Emily. Uh, so we're super excited about that. And we're still uh, accepting applications for youth crew. And so if you are uh, grades 9 through 12 and you want some work experience and some uh, financial, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say reward, but financial, financial compensation is the word I'm looking for, uh, for your hard work. Uh, just uh, head over to campspirit.ca and click on youth crew. We also have uh, coming up family camp, May long weekend. That doesn't mean it's just for children. Families of all varieties are welcome to join us at family camp. So excited. I'm already registered and so is Kelly. We're so stoked to be able to go down to Camp Pringle at Shawnigan Lake. Uh, I have seen the schedule. There is ample time for napping if you are a napper and hiking and even kayaking and all sorts of amazing stuff. Uh, and of course, all with COVID safety procedures in place. And so you'll be able to go and uh, stay in your family bubble and eat in your family bubble. They can even accommodate all of my crazy dietary restrictions. So you know you're going to be okay if you want to eat there. Um, and the cost covers three days accommodation, all meals and all programming. And if there's any barrier uh, to camp spirit, summer day camp or the family camp, please just let me know. Um, no questions asked, we'll just get you the codes you need uh, to register with any kind of support you need. All right, now, you also will remember that uh, we are having our Children's Church at Home program. I may or may not have performed a miracle in last week's Children's Church at Home, so you'll have to check that out. And of course, youth group continues Thursdays, 4.30 on Zoom. And now, let me get my treasure chest and we will get started in today's lesson. Da-da-da, treasure chest right here. Now, of course, we have our cloth that we're gonna pull out of the treasure chest first. And I bet you know what color it is. We're still in Lent. And so we still have our purple cloth to go with my purple stole and all the different purple happening here in the church. Remember Lent is a time where we really try to get closer to God and we try to think about God and others more. We've been learning and talking about this sort of big word. Do you remember what it is? Almsgiving. It's spelled A-L-M-S, alms, and then giving, almsgiving. It's a little bit tricky to say, but it means giving to those in need. And that's another way that we can really focus on God through Lent is by taking care of the needs of others. And so we talked about giving away food and we talked about giving away warm, clean, dry socks to those in need. And last week, do you remember, I put coins all over the table and invited you to look under couch cushions and collect up all the coins you could. Did you count them? Did you make a donation? I'm so excited to hear more about that. Now today, I know that our friend Nutso is very excited to share another thing with us. So, hello Nutso. So nice to see you today. Yes, how wonderful. Now, do you have something special to share with us today? Yes, that is an emphatic yes if ever I've seen one. Okay, let's see. Hmm, I wonder what Nutso is going to show us today. Ooh, what's this? Hmm. It's exciting. Let's look inside. Huh. Not so. Are these my old glasses? But 
these aren't ones I've worn for a very long time because these are glasses that I had. Hold on a second. I have contacts in now, yeah, and those are the, those are the best prescription for me because I just got them last month. Now, the last glasses I got that most of the people here know me from, I've had those for three years. And these are even before that. Where did you even find those? Oh, at the very back of my nightstand? Huh. Uh, okay. Okay, this is strange. I'll put these right here. Oh, you have something else? Okay, okay, well, let's we'll take a look. Well, that's another pair of glasses. These don't look like my glasses, do they? No, nobody has ever seen me wear glasses like this before, uh-uh. So I gotta ask Nutso, where did you get these? You're not gonna tell me? Are you laughing? Mm-hmm, okay, okay. Let's see what else we've got. I know you've got something else in here. Oh, not so, that's another pair of glasses. How many people's nightstands have you been rummaging through? Oh my goodness, this is not a good idea. Oh, not so, that's so many glasses. What, you've got more? Oh my goodness, what, where have you been? I thought squirrels were supposed to collect nuts and hide them away, not glasses. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, Nancy. Oh, yes, I do like Nancy. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, but what does that have to do with Lent? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that's true, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, that's very good. Now, Minatso, do you mind if I tell them what you just told me? Oh, yes, yes, tell them, no, you don't mind. Yes, tell them, no, you don't mind. Okay, that's great. So, Nutso was just telling me that he went and visited our friend Nancy at the Comox Valley Lions Club. Does anyone know what the Lions Club is? It's like um, a club where people get together in non-COVID times, where people get together and try to do good stuff in the community. So uh, like maybe you've heard of the Rotary Club, same kind of idea, Lions Club. And one of the things they do is they collect up people's old glasses and ones that they don't need anymore, and they bundle them up and they send them to places where getting to see an eye doctor is like, so hard and getting glasses is next to impossible because did you know glasses are really expensive yeah they're really expensive and so the comox valley lions club oh oh really well this batch of glasses that nancy let us borrow to show you are on their way to guinea which is a country in west africa and Yes, I know, even broken ones. They want your old glasses, even broken ones, because two pairs of broken glasses can make one whole pair of glasses for someone who wouldn't normally be able to see. Huh. Now, can you remind me again what this has to do with Lent? Oh, right, Jesus. It always comes back to Jesus, doesn't it? Here's Jesus. Now, did you know that Jesus talked actually a lot about seeing. Jesus healed blind people in the Bible more than three times. That's a lot of healing. And Jesus said that when we pray, when we grow closer to God, God helps us see more clearly. Now, I don't know that he was exactly talking about seeing with our eyes more clearly, but God helps us see with our hearts more clearly too. Yeah. And you know what else Jesus said? Jesus said that our eyes are the lamp of our body. And in order for us to be able to shine our light the brightest, we need to actually be able to see. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I bet it would be scary if you couldn't see very far. I bet it would feel scary not to be able to know what's around the corner or down the street while you're walking. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. I think I would feel comforted if someone I didn't even know made the decision to give glasses to me so that I could see. I would probably feel less afraid and I would feel really cared about and loved. Yeah, and that's kind of what we do here is we want to make sure people feel safe and loved and cared for, that they know that we love them and God loves them. And what a better way than to collect up glasses and send them to people who can't afford glasses. Wow, that's a really good lesson. Thanks for sharing that one with us, Nutso. Now, if you wanna drop off your old glasses, I'm gonna collect them all up and get them back to my friend Nancy at the Lion's Den, at the Lion's Club, so that she can package them all up. She likes to make sure they're all organized by prescription number. So she goes through and she marks all the different glasses and organizes them. Um, but if you just put them in the mailbox here at St. George's in the mail slot off of 6th Street, I'll collect them all up and I'll even add in my glasses to the bunch. The one thing she doesn't want is glasses cases. So you keep that and make something fun with that. But in the meantime, you donate your glasses so that somebody else in need feels loved and safe and they don't have to feel afraid anymore. Thanks, Nutso. See you, on See you next week. Let's sing together, Don't Be Afraid. <laughs>